Welcome to the next video part. I've decided to paint the bike. So here are some of the fenders, side fenders, front fender. I primed them and then here's the tank with all the paint removed. Um, stay tuned to see what color I decide to paint these and here's the process of how I got to this point. Got the front fender off, which is four bolts, two on that side, two on that side. Popped it through, got the tank off as well. I'll work on getting this back piece off as well. And the side covers are up there. So those are the pieces I'd like to paint. Um, so I'm gonna work on getting this back piece off. All right, I ended up getting this pack piece off. It was just uh, four bolts right there. And then there's two screws, one on that side, one on the other side. So that was pretty easy. So I think these are the pieces I want to paint. Here you go, I'm just working on sanding these side panels. They're made out of plastic, so I figure I'll just scuff them up a bit and make the paint stick a little better. So I'm just using some sanding pads and some different types of sandpaper just to get that shine off and then we can move on to the next parts. Yeah, just using some paint stripper to try to get this red line off. Cause it, it's, you can tell it's painted on there. So see if I can get that off. Yeah, I'm just working on this front fender, just using some sandpaper to get all the rust out and then to scratch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna be painting this fender as well. All right, no turning back now. I'm gonna use some paint stripper on this beautiful paint job here. It's really not the worst job, but I don't know, I kinda just wanna make something of my own. So using this paint stripper and uh, I'm gonna work on trying to get all the paint off this just for bare metal and We'll just go for a repainting from there. So let's see how this turns out. All right, it's been a couple hours since I put this stuff on and yeah, it's starting to bubble up nicely. Yeah, maybe I'll scrape it off and throw another coat on and then it should be good to go. All right, here we are the next day. It's getting really flaky. So this will be fun to... Scrape all this off. So yeah, it's coming off pretty easily. So get some on the bottom now. So cool. So yeah, it's been a couple days. Work done stripping it out. So there's a couple spots. I filled with some bondo, but for the most part, it's pretty much bare. So got a little work to do, but for here since. Painting the outside should maybe do something about the inside. It's kind of rusty in there. So I got this fuel tank liner kit. So I'm gonna try to seal the inside here. All right, step one says to wash out the tank with soapy water. So I just did that. Then you have to plug the hole. I just used a big piece of tubing, some hose clamps, and I plugged the end. So hopefully that'll hold the water. So I'm gonna put this in like a little tray and then fill it up. It's supposed, you're supposed to use hot water and then this tank prep A stuff. So and you're supposed to let it go overnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, I got it filled with water and the chemicals. It looks like it's doing stuff in there. So it fits nicely into this bin. So like my seal off is working, so we'll let her cook overnight and see how she looks. All right, I ended up doing the two first steps, A and B, for the tank liner now. It's just to dump the white stuff in there, coat it around, and then let it dry. So I'm going to dump that in there, coat it around, and then let it dry. Can't really see it in there too well, but it's, it's pretty clean, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'll go ahead and coat the inside. All right, there it is. It's coated on the inside, so it's gonna drain the excess out. So it's seems like it work, it's working good. Just let it dry for a day or so, and then maybe recoat it. All right, this is the primer I'm using to do the plastics. Then I got some self etching stuff for the actual metal, the tank, and the front fender. So 
Just gonna prime these up and then we'll work on the final color paint. All right, here's the tank. It's all ready to be primed. Use the self etching primer since it's bare metal. So it's, and here's the inside of the tank. So <clears throat> yeah, a little dirt got in there when I was sanding, but it's pretty much clean and sealed. So I'm happy with that. Let's get to priming. All right, here's one of the side panels. Um, got it nicely primed. Looks like it's ready to go. The color we're going with is this blue color. I figure since the frame is red, uh, why not go red, white, and blue? So mostly gonna be blue and then some white stripes. So I think it's gonna be like an America theme bike. So I don't know. I think it'll be cool, but I kind of think it might look stupid. So I guess only time will tell once we get it all together, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint this up and see how she turns out. All right, here's that back panel. Like I said, I'm gonna do some white stripes. So I'll lay down the white first on the back. Once I get a nice white coat, I'm gonna tape it up and then do blue around the whole thing. So um, I think that will look good, we'll see. All right, here are the pieces I want, that white stripe. So I painted the base white on each of them. So now I'm going to tape them up. I kind of want two lines going down each of these pieces. So I think I'm gonna, here's the tape I'm using. So I think I'm gonna put one right straight down the middle and then as a reference line and then put two on each side and then take off the middle piece. So hopefully that will make it nice and straight. So we'll see. All right, like I'm saying, I think that is a good center line right there. Then I'm gonna put two on either side and then remove that middle one. And then I'll leave those two for my white stripes. All right, so I pretty much got it taped up to where I think it'll be nice and straight. So I'm just gonna throw a little more white just a white over the lines, just so if anything bleeds through, it'll be the white. So then when I do the blue over the top, it should be nice and straight lines when I take off the tape. So I'm just gonna throw some white down and then I'm gonna throw the blue down and that should take care of painting the tank. All right, it's pretty much dry. I put a few coats on it, it's looking good moment of truth to see how my lines worked out. Let's see. Oh, there's a little bit right there, but oh yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. There's a little bleed through right there, but oh, that main part looks sweet. I tried to, huh? I'll, I'll do the other one and we'll take a look. All right, here's the finished product. I'm pretty happy with that. A few little spots I can probably touch up like around there. I pull off the back as well here. A couple spots that I need to touch up, but nothing major. Also the front fender. Oh wait, it pulled all the white paint off that strip right there. That sucks. So, I don't know, I'm gonna think about what I gotta do to fix that. But at least we got the tank done and that back one done. So probably just clear coat those and then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. All right, think about what to do. I think I'm just gonna sand it all, you know, prime it again, and then paint it. There's no big rush, it's the middle of winter. I don't need to get this thing done anytime soon. So I'd rather just get it done right and have it look good. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, that actually turned out pretty good. Lines are pretty crisp. I just used a different masking tape to do the lines, I was less adhesive and 
doesn't seem to work. Just got to do a little touch up in the front there, but yeah, not bad. I'm going to finish that up and then we can go to uh, clear coating. All right, clear coat time. So I got pretty much everything I want to clear coat out here. I'm going with this. I think I was going out going with this matte finish. I'll see how that turns out. I was kind of thinking clear the gloss or this matte, but I think I'm going to go with this matte finish and see how she looks. So this is, uh, you got to pop the bot. This is like some special kind of stuff. It's supposed to be really good. So you shake it up and then you, you pop the bottom with this top red thing and you shake it up more and then it's supposed to be some pretty good clear coat. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff done. All right, round two. I screwed up uh, trying to pop that thing. I think I tried to do it too hard and squirted it all over. So I'm going with this clear, this gloss stuff. So whatever. I think it'll look cool either way. So I'm going to clear coat with this with that gloss. All right, here's the final product. It's the next day. Everything is pretty much dry. Yeah, I like the way it turned out. It's nice and shiny, which, yeah, I like. Yeah, I can't wait to get those badges on there. I think that might look pretty cool with the red frame, so. But yeah, that one can kind of got me one coat on the fronts and backs of everything. And then I try to do a second coat, like, on the top part of the fender and, and the main part, top part of the tank. So I wasn't... Kind of got a uh, like a light coat, light second coat. I was thinking about getting another can and just doing another coat on the tops of everything, but I think it turned out good. It should be good clear coat, so it should last. Um, so yeah, that'll do it for this part three of the video. Um, the next part, I'd like to do some of the modifications, handlebars and headlight and tail lights and stuff, and then hopefully get all this stuff on there and put together. So, all right, well, thank you for watching.